<clears throat> Thank you for inviting me as a speaker this time. <clears throat> My name is Yutaka Kakami. My research theme has been larvae and juveniles, including angry forms. Therefore, Japanese yield seeding production research and research on yield level growth are my specialties. For this reason, I am a top researcher in Japan in yield seeding production research and development. However, unfortunately, I am not currently in an academic research environment. My purpose this time is to get the audience interested in my research and to let you know that I'm looking for a new job in a research environment, including in seedling production and research. Uh, <clears throat> grass seeds, which are seedlings, are necessary for yield farming, including uh, Japanese eels. Even now, wild grass eels are caught and farmed, using them as seedlings. However, due to overfishing of Japanese eels, the migration of grass eels is decreasing. Therefore, producing grass eels is considered a very important mission in Japan. <clears throat> in Japan, seeding production and development of Japanese eels began in the 1990s. And nearly 30 years have passed since then. In the meantime, they have repeated uh, minor changes to the present. <clears throat> Seedling production research and development can be divided into two main categories. The first is to obtain consistent and good quality fertilized eggs, especially from female fish research. This has been successful and has been highly prized in Japan. Uh, the second is the development of technology for rearing larva fish. They are able to pro produce grass seals, but large scale production has not been realized. There are several reasons for this, but I won't go into detail about the reason this time. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I have only been involved in seeding production, research and development for two or three years. If I lead development of the seeding production in a leading position, I am sure we will be able to achieve better results than they are now. <clears throat> I will show you the Japanese grass seals daily growth increment of Otorish. We caught wild grass seals and analyzed the Otorish. It is possible to estimate the number of days in the left separate stage. In other words, it is a period from the spawning ground to arriving at the metamorphosing area. The duration of left swallow is considered 120 to 150 days. <clears throat> Let's compare the growth rate of wild and artificial left swallow. The daily growth rate of wild left, wild left swallow is thought to be 0.3 to 0.5 millimeter per day. By the way, the site to start metamorphosis is about 60 millimeter total length. <clears throat> On the other hand, the daily growth rate of artificial left spurs 
is reported to be about 0.1 to 0.3 millimeter per day. <clears throat> Therefore, in seedling production, it takes more than half a year, probably about 200 to 250 days on average to start metamorphosis. The purpose of this study is to improve this slow growth. So I focus on the Japanese yield metamorphosis and try to induce metamorphosing using thyroid hormone. <clears throat> this is the metamorphosis of Japanese eel and Japanese conga eel. So far, I have used two species to study the early growth of eels. <clears throat> you can see the position of the, of the anus changes. This is a great indicator for observing the progress of metamorphosis. <clears throat> By the way, based on the age analysis of wild eel larvae otorish, it is thought that the number of days required, required from starting metamorphosis to grass eels is two or three weeks. On the other hand, as for artificial eel larvae, from starting metamorphosis to grass eel, it is also two or three weeks. <clears throat> Various hormones are known to be involved in terrorist metamorphosis. One of the most important hormones is the thyroid hormone. In this study, we investigate whether small left sparrows metamorphose normally by exposure to thyroid hormone. <clears throat> First, we prepared left spy from 30 to 40 millimeter. We try to induce metamorphosing, adding T4 to the breeding water. <clears throat> At 100 nanomolar T4, they all become morphologically abnormal and died. At 10 nanomolar T4, abnormal bone formation was observed, but it was found that grass eel could be produced. At 1 nanomolar T4, incidentally, metamorphosis hardly progressed. <clears throat> Therefore, we decided to search for the best condition based on 10 nanomolar T4. These figures are the results of metamorphosis induction for 37.7 millimeter left sepals. At this time, since the method has not been established yet, <clears throat> abnormal bone formation is observed. But we confirmed this small left sepals metamorphosis to grass eel. Grass eel. <clears throat> we have confirmed this grass eel grows. <clears throat> this shows the final metamorphosis induction method. First, start with 10 nanomolar T4, then decrease the concentration to 2 nanomolar, 1 nanomolar T4, and then to 0 0.2 nanomolar, 0 0.1 nanomolar T4, depending on the progress of metamorphosis. <clears throat> if we confirmed grass eel, they are transferred to normal seawater and T4 treatment is completed. From this study, metamorphosis capable minimum size is around 37 millimeter total length. <clears throat> if we use left swirls with 40 millimeter or more, we can induce grass use with highly probability. <clears throat> now, the early induction metamorphosis method established in this study. I explain 
the advantage and problem of using so-called Kaka method. As an advantage, it is possible to produce glasses in as little as five months. This is almost the same as the age of wild grass eels. Even now, it is not possible to predict when an artificial red sparse will begin to metamorphose. In other words, we were unable to plan the production of artificial grass eels. However, using Kakai missile, if we prepared left spars of 40 mm or more, we can produce many grass eels at the same time. The problem is that grass eels are getting smaller. However, rising small grass eels is not difficult. Breeding is possible by conventional method. <clears throat> Here, I would like to show some supplementary data on the miniaturization of grass eels. It is known when a left, spar left sparai metamorphoses into grass eel, it regresses in length. Red dots show the size distribution of wild grass eels collected in Japan. The average grass eel size was 61 millimeter. What does this mean? In other words, wild left spars start to metamorphosis at 60 millimeter or more. <clears throat> On the other hand, blue dots show the size distribution of artificial grass eels. The artificial grass eels is 50 millimeter average. In other words, it shows artificial grass eels have already become smaller. <clears throat> uh, green dots shows the involution rate from T4 treated lepto to grass eel in this study. Left size is from 36 to 44 millimeter. Blue dots show the involution rate of artificial left spars with natural metamorphosis. During natural metamorphosis, the involution rate is 90 to 95%. Whereas T4 treatment lepto resulted in involution rate of 75 to 80%. Using my method, we found that glasses were further reduced in size. The reason for this is so to be the use of small left spars for induction metamorphosis. <clears throat> we speculate on the miniaturization seen during metamorphosis of e lab. First of all, the first answer is artificial left spars grow slowly and it is difficult to grow to the target size of 60 millimeter. Therefore, it seems that metamorphosis will start when it reaches 50 millimeter or more. I speculate that 50 millimeter size is enable size of natural metamorphosis. <clears throat> Secondly, why a small lab even smaller? I think that the reason can be explained from the energy balance at the time of metamorphosis. <clears throat> this is a historical image of large left spars. Blue indicate hyaluronic acid distribution and pink indicate triglyceride distribution. Hyaluronic acid is a type of polysaccharide. Hyaluronic acid and tri triglyceride show interesting changes during metamorphosis. I believe both are used, used as energy sources during metamorphosis.
This is a comparison of the amount of hyaluronic acid and triglyceride between 30 millimeter and 50 millimeter left cells. It goes without saying, but it can't be seen. The amount of both is greater in the 50 millimeter left cells. In short, around 40 millimeter sites left, which is my target, doesn't store enough energy for normal metamorphosis. So it is proba probably going to be smaller in size. <clears throat> I show the summary. It became possible to produce glasses by T4 treatment. The minimum size can be metamorphosis is around 37 millimeter. For stable production, it is recommended to be used 40 millimeter or more left cells. As for the miniaturization of small left cells, it may be explained by the energy balance. <clears throat> That's all for this presentation. This study was so voluminous that I could not explain everything. However, the content presented here has already been published as papers. If you read the article, I think you will have a better understanding. <clears throat> in addition, I am writing books and have published three of them, including con content related here. <clears throat> in the books, I propose problems on the management method for oil seeding production. I'm sorry, but they are in Japanese. <clears throat> and that's all. If any organization is interesting and would you like uh, contact, uh, please contact me. Thank you very much. <clears throat>